looking for some mushrooms. They should be in here somewhere. Hey, look what we found. A morel. We were driving along and every once in a while in these big ponderosa pine trees, you'll see a, a bear has made his mark and here's one that we found. See those claw marks right there? That right there is from a bear standing up and marking this tree. I'm not sure if there's any more on here or not, but that wasn't a very big bear. Sometimes you see them way up in the tree, uh, like six or eight feet. That means it's a really tall bear. Let's see if there's any more around here. I don't see any more. Big ponderosa pine. You always see them in ponderosa pine trees. That's the only one we'll, we see here, but yep, we're all here. Driving along, having a good time. The sun came out, which is awesome. Really hoping to see a bear. Found some bear hair. It looks like that might be like elk or something there, but right there, it's most certainly some bear. That's on an old post that we found here in the woods. Pretty cool. Well, I'm sitting here glassing just this beautiful area. All kinds of room to glass up here. Um, just determined to find an elk or a deer or a a bear or something up on that mountain. I haven't spotted anything yet, but it's just a perfect afternoon to glass all the way up in that valley. This is the Fisher River Valley. It's a it's a valley um, about 10 miles from home. And uh, we drove here over here with the four-wheeler all loaded up, all the kiddos, except Priscilla and Chloe. And uh, been trying to spot a bear or something, but we haven't yet, but just a great day for a ride. We've got Avalon and Wyatt down there picking some flowers. Thinking maybe I'll spot something over there. That's a good little seat, What? We're down here by a, a pond. It's kind of more of a marsh, looking for some mushrooms. I haven't found any except that one. And it's been really wet, so it's perfect moisture, but I don't think it's been quite warm enough. I think that's the biggest thing. Next week is supposed to get really nice and warm, but yeah, this is kind of a really nice little pond, kind of out of the way little place here. And sometimes you see some wildlife down here, some ducks, or I've even seen moose back here, but it's kind of a lot of cattail and kind of way back in the woods. Nobody hardly ever comes back here. What did you find? Whoa, look at that. That's gotta be a moose rub. Wow, that's intense. That's a huge tree, that's like a seven inch tree probably and look at that that's amazing that's got to be a moose rub wow that's pretty neat and i've seen beaver chews back here as well so i think there's probably beaver here on occasion there's a real pretty vine with flowers i'm not totally sure what these are i know a lot of flowers but i don't know this one i'll have to figure out what it is i guess Really nice. Oh, and there's an orchid. Try not to pick those too much because they're really amazing. That's a lady slipper, I believe. Beautiful flowers. Sometimes it takes, there's a lot of variety, so I don't know about this one, but some of these take a long time to, before they ever bloom. Yeah, it's just a perfect evening. Turned out to be a blue skies. We're down here in the woods and it's real pretty. There are just so many pretty flowers everywhere where we're driving here. Yellow arrow balsam root flowers.
service berry bushes that make big bright berries that are delicious. It's always good to eat those in the late summer. There's a bunch of these arrow leaf flowers. In the springtime they bloom just lots and lots of them. Lots of other little flowers all around. Real pretty. We're almost home and I just had to video a little bit. There's the sun setting down. Almost getting ready to go to the mountains shortly. And there's Snowshoe Peak and the Cabin Mountain Wilderness. We just live in a beautiful place. Just had to take one more quick video before we head on home. Wow, well, here we are at the very, uh, let's see, it would be southeast corner of the ranch. All the way in the corner, we're on bordered national forest and the corner that borders National Forest going north and south is right there. So we're right on the east and west border. We're right up in the corner tucked away. There's this beautiful flat right here. And tonight we decided to bring the family up just for a little bit of fun. And we just got done laying these rocks here for a bit of a fire pit. And we decided to build, build a little bit of fire. We're gonna have some hot dogs and just have a good old fashioned family time up here. Clean ants, forget. Oops, sorry, Autumn. Oh, isn't it fun, Autumn? This is so fun, Rebecca. You betcha. Yeah, you betcha. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. Okay, good girl. Oh. Wyatt, what do you have? Hot dog. Did you roast it yourself? Mm -hmm. It looks pretty good. Take a bite. Hot enough? Mmm. Is this about ready, Chloe? Mm -hmm. yes. Is this the spot for Brent? Looks about perfect. Okay. Oh, is this haste? Yep. It is such a pleasant evening, such a nice way to relax after a long day of going and running and working. sparkling, whatever it is, delicious. Delish time. I'm so hungry. I've been flat out and starve. <laughs> Today is technically my birthday. Yeah, it is. So we're just coming up here and having a little bit of time up here away on the mountain. It's so fun and refreshing. It was actually kind of a stressful day to me. I had to run around town and do a lot of things. And so I said, let's just go up on the mountain and have a fire, roast some hot dogs, and uh, just kind of chill. So it's so fun, so nice to be up here relaxing. Yeah. You can tell I'm super hey. hungry. I've got two two no, sandwiches here. Mmm, there's nothing like campfire food. Mmm. 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 Okay, Wyatt's gonna figure out how to get that milk in there. He's got some plan, I think. Ooh, a forked stick, a rock, and another rock. Okay. Some fresh goat's milk. He knows what's good for him. Oh, it's working so far. Some for Chloe. Mm, a sight for Chloe. It is so neat up here. Marshmallow time. Sun's still quite high in the sky, but here's the view of the mountains. 
just spectacular. Beautiful. Wyatt made this gourmet, um, what's it called, Wyatt? A uh, s'more. S'more. Turn it around so we can see it. Little grubby fingers. Got a little burnt marshmallow in there. Some chocolates and graham crackers. Okay, take a big bite and see if it's good. Doesn't have teeth, he can't bite off the front. It looks good the way you're drooling. Okay, that sounds good. Get out of here. Oi. I think you got a little aggressive with your chocolate there, young lady. Oh boy, I think some little ones need a bath when we get home. Yep. You don't want a bath? Mishnet bath, a Chloe? Oh, Chloe day flats, as usually. Oh, Wyatt made this. Uh oh. Roar. I feel the heat from over here. It's kind of hard to roast a marshmallow in a bonfire. Yep. <laughs> uh, Hi, Mama. So, Avalon gave me this really nice little gift that she made me, so I'm going to open it. She put some Oregon grape flowers there for me. Take those off. It says, Happy birthday, Dad. Okay. Thank you, Abby. I'm thinking this could be a little bit of candy or something. Let's see what we got in here. Ugh, I don't know what's in there. Mm, I don't know what it is. Not too hard. Ooh, maybe a bunch of paper. Ooh, there's a something coming out. Mm. Whoa. Tape time. Ooh, a taffy. Yay. No. Huh? It's not a taffy? Yeah, not a oh. taffy. <laughs> oh. Not a taffy after all. It looks like a white taffy. Oh. Let's see what we got here then. She wrapped it and wrapped it and wrapped it. <laughs> no, we want to see no, it's not ready. No. Oh, I see something orange, red. Oh, what do we got there, Apple? Is that a fireball? Yeah. Mmm, fireball. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> See what Abby girl's got here for me now. The other kiddos already gave theirs. So yep. Earlier. Avalon failed to have something prepared for the birthday party, so she got it now. I know what it is. Hey, there's a little wrapping paper. Let's see what we got here. More wrapping paper. Ooh. Nice. Avalon painted something for me. On a board. Looks beautiful, Avalon. Good job. Oh, happy birthday to you. You be long in the zoo with the monkeys and bonkeys. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Dad. <laughs> Ooh. You are the best and best dad in the in the world. Exclamation mark. Question mark. You are the best. You are the oh, you are so 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 the best, best and best dad in the world. Exclamation mark. Ha Happy. No, happy. Sorry, man. Oh, happy birthday to dad. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's a little slot right there. Ooh, cold hard cash, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Avalon. Five dollars. That's like a thousand dollars from yeah. you. Mm. Thank you. Uh, Here I found Junior crawling up on my head. Trying to find some blood and make me sick. It's just about the end of the season. Usually by June, they're pretty much gone. Just had to get a real quick view of the mountains here yet before we head out of here. The sun's about ready to set. That Snowshoe Peak, that's the tallest peak in the Cabin of Mountain Wilderness right there. It's uh, close to 9,000 feet, just under, a few hundred feet under. And then the second tallest peak is just to the right of that. Oh, I can't really see it. It's kind of behind there. The third tallest peak is right underneath that cloud. And the fourth tallest peak 
I believe is right there Treasure Mountain and the sun's just going down to the north of Treasure Mountain but just a beautiful evening look at those clouds isn't that amazing it was it's such a beautiful evening and there you can look all the way you could look all the way almost into town uh, from here that's about uh, 15 miles away from here probably and if you go further south there's more mountains that you can see over the top there that's uh see if we can see bald eagle i think that might be bald eagle in the center right there and get around this tree here look at that craggy area right there just to the south of snowshoe peak uh, where that real sharp peak is just below that it's a really cool waterfall that we've gone to lots of times it's a uh, about a 30 or 45 minute hike and just spectacular but yeah it's a beautiful evening tonight just had a good time up here and the sun's just setting it's uh beautiful uh these pine trees here some fir and pine and of course there's some wildflowers still blooming up here uh, but just real pretty i'll show you one of these flowers that really grows in the springtime they're nice beautiful big yellow flowers real pretty and autumn's having a good time but yep it's time to head on home i think everybody else is about ready to go Bunny on the road right there. It's probably a snowshoe hare. Let's see what happens when we get closer. Look for white feet when it jumps. Look at this tiny little fawn. It's like only a few hours old. That's just right at the bottom of our driveway. We're not gonna get too close to it. But it's so cool. There it goes. It's awesome. Turkey babies. Let's see, where'd they go? They're somewhere in the grass here. Oh, there they go. Little turkey babies. So neat. It's uh and a rooster in there. There they go. That is so neat. A lot of babies out this morning. We had some rain last night and everything's fresh and clean. So nice. Today is a Saturday and we decided to go take a hike up to some local caves. It's the only caves in the area and there's an old rustic sign that points the way. And I brought a few of my cousins along, Michael and all his kids, my his brother Chris and some friends from Maryland, all our kids, and some of my in-laws kids. So there's a whole troop of us, and it's about a half a mile hike. It's up pretty steep, and uh, we're gonna try to get up here and explore these caves. It's uh, about a 45 minute drive from home. It's right up the side of this mountain, half a mile hike or so. Gonna roast some hot dogs. Have a hike at Chloe. You're doing really good. It's a steep trail up here. It's a scramble, all right. It's a pretty view up here. There's 
the Cabinet Mountains in the distance. A bit cloudy today. A lot of wilderness around here. Let's look over the peak over the edge here. And we'll see if we can see the, the opening. I think I already smell it. There it is down there where they're at. Yelling for their flashlights. There's the hole right down there. There it is, look at that. Yep, we go. We're heading in. Yeah, that was the one. Yep. Oh, heading in. Oh boy. Can't see a thing. Inside looking out, and a couple of guys are going down, backing down into a hole down there. And it opens up into an entirely another room. There goes Chloe. Yeah, it's a pretty good sized area down here. Chloe, Wyatt. Chloe, let, let me see your hands. Oh! Alan, do a picture now for these. I need to Okay. Okay, Dad, do a picture now. There's a cave mouth. And here we're killing some hot dogs. Made a little, uh, little fire there. Some hot dogs. Yeah. Good place to be with all the kiddos. Whew. Smoking! <coughs> See the smoke coming out of the cave. And me! And me! That was so cool. He's got a mega pile of a torch for it to go caving. Uh oh! Uh-oh, he just lost it. Oh, nice! Little fire <laughs> no. There's his torch. His torch is toast.